hello my beautiful scorpios and welcome to your love reading so today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you in love thank you um for your likes your shares your comments and your subscribes i really do appreciate it if you'd like to book a reading or for anything else everything is in the description box below okay so please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa so take what resonates with your genders which roles you what you got to do and leave the rest so i had some downloads for you scorpios so um i wrote them down because like i always get downloads and then i forget and i remember when i've done the reading i'm just like oh good god so i'm just trying to find because i had to find like notebooks i didn't have any notebooks i found one that i made like where did, where did i write it okay here we go so downloads for scorpio so we have um supernatural and sexy blow me or blow me away okay um i had a channeled song which is all the things she said all the things she said running through my head running through my head all the things she said can't remember who sings that but it's a really really like old song like i think from the 90s or something um venus fly trap without the fly and um Ed Sheen and Shape of You. I'm in love with the shape of you. So, um, with the supernatural beauty, I feel like for some of you, someone feels like you have strong abilities and gifts, which they find very alluring and very intriguing, or this is you. Okay, now with the blow me or blow me away... <laughs> It's almost like I'm getting tease me or please me. I just like, <laughs> they just keep giving me rhymes, okay? I'm, I'm hearing like you need to work that one out for yourself, okay? Because I feel like um, it's almost like you feel like someone is like teasing you, but they can't, they're like not obtainable or this could be the other way around. And with the Venus flytrap, um, but without the fly, I feel like someone, once you connect with someone or once you kind of fall in love with them, that's it. It's just like you're attached and you, no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to, um, no matter how powerful you are or whatnot, you are not going to be able to disconnect from this person. And the reason why the, the fly is minus is because, like, you know, the purpose of a Venus fly trap is, you know, to, to trap flies, to trap bugs and stuff, okay? But um, I feel like the energy that you're dealing with, whether this is you or another person, they catch more than flies. Like, they're able to, like, capture huge um, forces and energies. Like, I mean, if we were going to talk about this in, like, a physical sense, they can catch, like, you know beasts and goblins and woodland creatures and shit like it's like it's beyond the fly so i feel like um i feel like you're you feel trapped in someone's i just had their vortex so maybe when you enter someone and you go really it's like opening pandora's box i'm getting so many different downloads but i just feel like someone you are trapped or someone else is trapped but they're like trapped in love okay so someone doesn't know how to escape the way that they feel about you or they can't escape their mind. Like you live rent free in someone's mind. They think about you nonstop. But I feel like the reason as to why they were trapped is because, because, you know, I feel like people only get trapped if it's like they are causing some kind of threat. So maybe you were putting on someone but then you met your match or somebody was playing on you and now they fucked up and, you know, fell in love and they don't know what to do, okay? So, yeah. And um, it's crazy because when I was looking through, this is like a really old notebook I made like about five, seven years ago. And I, I found all of these like equations that I was doing when I was trying to work out numerology, like the numerology um, breakdown of my name. You know, after realizing, you know, after a while, you can just find a website where you just type in your stuff and it just tells you your information. But I used to like the breakdown of things. So there's so much equations. Like even looking in this book, I'm seeing numbers and stuff and I'm just like, I don't even remember doing all this shit. But I feel like you're trying to like break someone down, okay? Or someone is trying to break you down, okay? You could be dealing with like an astrologist or someone who studies numerology, but someone is really trying to study you and they're trying to understand you, but it's like... The deeper they go, the more they kind of discover and the more there is to learn, okay? 
so i feel like you have someone in some kind of like trance or maze so that was the downloads i got for you okay so let's just get into the reading so what is coming towards you in love so yeah i'm loving this i'm in love with the shape of you someone is in love with the way that you're shaped but like the way that you're made up, like the atoms, like it goes deeper than your physical looks. Okay, so we have memories that wanted to come out. Yeah, and then we have freedom. So this is what I'm saying, free, um, fly Venus, fly trap, okay, without the fly. So I feel like it's like someone can free themselves from you and take their love away, but you can't free yourself from them or the other way around, okay? So somebody here, um, I feel like someone here is free, pick whatever side you're on. And there's memories that like this person can't stop thinking about you. Like I said, you live rent free in somebody's mind. Okay. Um, I feel like, um, yeah, <laughs> I am on point like a good joint, people. Underneath that, we have reoccurring thoughts. So I feel like someone is going crazy at the thought of you um, not being in their grasp anymore. Like I feel like you're dealing with someone who thought they were very powerful. Could have been dealing with like a narcissist or like... Um, you know, but someone is not used to people escaping them or escaping their energy, okay? But you are free from a situation. You could have broken up with someone. I just feel like you feel free and you look really good. You look really amazing. So somebody's like feeling for you, okay? But yeah, you feel out of reach to this person, okay? So I feel like this person is getting a lot of downloads um, with you, like when it comes to songs, because, you know, I, I'm attracted to the, um, the symbols there. And I kept on hearing, you know, all the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my head, all the things she said. So I feel like there's something that you said that is running through someone's head, okay? They just can't um, believe um, something. Maybe you told someone something and you're finally seeing the truth, or maybe someone's seeing the truth with, with them themselves, or they're understanding why they can't trap you, or maybe somebody views love as a trap, okay? And they feel like it's supposed to be, like, um, dominant and submissive, and it's like, well, no, that's not what love is about. Love is freedom, okay? But either way... You're free from someone, but they're not free from you, or vice versa, okay? So, let's get into it. My sexy Scorpio. So, yeah, supernatural and sexy. So, I feel like someone thinks that you're powerful. It's like, how did you escape me? Okay, and Scorpios are very powerful. So, this could be how you're feeling, feeling towards someone. It's just like, you know, what is above the energy of death? Do you know what I mean? Well, the divine. Because the divine has the power to bring something back to life. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's got that divine power, okay? You were like, well, shit, you know? If the divine was a person, it would be this person, okay? Someone's just like, I don't even know you got it like that. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I got it like that. And I got it like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for my beautiful Scorpios okay yeah so we have um we have the sweetest taboo it says forbidden love diversity and sexuality so for some of you, you could be dealing with the same sex or not have to be if it's not the same sex that's what i was getting forbidden love i feel like something feels forbidden or un, like out of reach or maybe you wasn't supposed to fall in love with this person there's something very taboo about your love or about the way that you think okay but i feel like someone wants you and they can't let you go mentally though okay yeah the perfect match it says divine pairing irreplaceable and crazy and love this is what i'm getting i feel like it was a divine pairing so you could have been like put with someone to teach them some kind of lesson or something like that but someone met their match with you okay they met their match <laughs> uh. the soul tie it says universal attachment sexual abundance and Sexual bondage, sorry, and inseparable. This is what I'm getting. The trap. You have made a universal attachment to someone because I feel like you've been dealing with the universe in human form. Okay? You've been dealing with the daughter or the son of the divine. But you could be dealing with someone who plots and traps and schemes on people so it's like that's their punishment. Now they have now they are trapped in love with someone for all the times they have tried to trap people for whatever reasons. Because I feel like someone um uses people or they look at people as like, mm, okay, how can you benefit me? Rather than like, how can I love you? How can you love me? So I feel like you've created some kind of soul tie or some soul bondage, especially if you've like had sex with this person. But there's a an attachment here. Someone can't let you go. Like, literally, look how these cards are. They're all wrapped up. 
on one another. Okay. Yeah, and then we have the he said, she said, all the things she said, all the things she said running through my head. I am on point like a good joint, people. This is interference, blockages, and hearsay. Yeah. So I feel like this person is like blocked with, I feel like the interference is coming from themselves. I feel like that they their thoughts are interfered by more thoughts and they're all in relation to you. Okay. So this person could be feeling mentally blocked because they can't get you out of their mind. Like you have become a blockage to someone while they have become free, okay? Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I keep forgetting, um, like, okay, no, it's right here. I was going to say, I keep forgetting specific cards. One second specific decks but maybe that's an omen maybe i'm supposed to use less i'm hearing um use less say more by using less okay i got you divine so i don't need all of these decks but i want to use this one so please clarify the sweetest taboo maybe that was an omen for you yeah i choose them third party player indecisive and disloyal this is what i'm getting i feel like you're dealing with someone who's disloyal or they're indecisive or they play games so, like I said, they played with the wrong one and now they're trapped. <laughs> As I always say, what a web we weave when we aim to deceive, okay? I do everything. It says unequal give and take, lazy, mooching, disrespect, and blame game. Yeah. So, you could have been in a connection where it wasn't very equal, it wasn't very balanced. The reason why this person wasn't given to you is because they, you know, they play around. Maybe somebody has like a taboo or unconventional way of like, um being in relationships but i feel like this is someone who wasn't open with you about it so say you're someone that's like polygamous or polyamorous i feel like you tried to date someone and bring them in and they didn't want to do that so what you did is decided to just well i'm going to keep you i'm still going to do my polygamy thing but i'm just not going to tell you about it and then the universe is like well no because now you're trapping someone into something that goes against their moral code so now we're going to trap you in that person so now even when you try to move on and you try to date multiple people this person is going to be running through your head running through your head running through your head do you know what i mean so <laughs> that's if you were dealing with someone like that with the i choose them look at this i want you back but it slightly wanted to come out in the reverse in the upright it says regrets missing you sad and sleepless nights in the reverse it says wanting you wanting back the good times without putting in the work exactly So that's what it is. I feel like somebody wants you back, but they don't want to put in the work, okay? So it's almost like somebody wants you to chase them or like I'm getting that like submissive connection where I just submit to you while you don't really do fuck all. I just give you myself and give you my energy while you don't do shit. But either way, someone wants you back. You could be dealing with a Pisces because yeah, someone feels like bond bound to you. Someone here is bound while somebody else is free. <laughs> Unavailable, it says, busy, absent, taken, and hard to reach. That's what I'm saying. You are hard to reach. I said that. For some of you, you could have actually blocked someone. Something significant could happen in December. Sagittarius season or something could have happened last December. But it's almost like someone's counting down the days to hear from you. But they, you know, yeah, because you taught them a lesson about love, about respect, about honor. It is what it is. What happens when you fuck around with people? What happens when you fuck around? I'm here and fuck around and find out. Well, someone found out and they didn't like their findings. <laughs> okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Because someone wanted to confuse and be an illusionist, a player. Literally, these two cards together, the witch and the seven of emotions, Scorpio energy. So this could have been you. An Aries energy. Somebody like to play mind games because that's equivalent to the magician. And this is on top of this. But someone likes to have their options. But now it's like all they can think about is you. Somebody could have been doing spell work on you as well with the sweetest taboo. I feel like this is what somebody does. They use some kind of like sexual magic or um, some kind of universal power or something. It's almost like I'm seeing someone preying on victims and they preyed on you. But they fuck around and fell in love. And now this person is trapped.
this person was very manipulative okay giving you mixed signals or like i said this could have been you yeah two of wisdom at the bottom of the deck two of swords somebody was in denial about this but yeah we have the sun this is what i'm saying somebody gives you life or you give someone life but technically you would represent death so you know i'm just saying just pick whatever sign you're on but we have leo the sun here so i'm hearing ain't no sunshine when she's gone Mm, mm, mm. Ain't no sunshine, she gone away. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't no sunshine when she gone, and she's always gone too long. Any time she goes away, mm, mm. I know, I know. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean. Someone wants you back, they have a lot of regrets. They just can't stop thinking about you. It's almost like someone has, is, karma has caught up with someone and they're caught in all their own lies or they've created karmic debts with all these other options or all these other people that they have been connecting to. They've created all of these attachments that are like blocking them from love or blocking them from you. Okay, but I feel like someone sees you as the source of their happiness. Or like I said, this is how you are now. Someone can see you in your prime as well. Like you're just shining. You're looking good. You're vibrating high. You're glowing. I'm hearing that you're glowing. And the three of wealth, the three of pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. I'm getting Capricorn, Leo, Aries, and Scorpio vibes here. So yeah, someone sees you. They see you being admired. Maybe for some of you, you're on display or you're putting your work out there. You're collaborating with people, but I'm seeing you on some kind of stage or podium or something and people kind of honoring you. But I feel like this person wants to put you up on a pedestal. Like I said, there could have been like third party situations, but everybody else is beneath you, literally. She's out, like she's, um, she's out of reach when it comes to these people. She's been put up on a pedestal, literally. She's a body of work, okay? So she's above, I'm hearing above and beyond. So yeah, supernatural beauty, literally. I feel like you're a goddess to be worshipped. You're connected with Mother Nature. You could be dealing with your opposite energy, Taurus, as well. But now somebody wants to have a conversation with you or they want to collaborate or talk about something. But I feel like there's some kind of blockage here. Now, for some of you, this could have been like outside energies and outside parties that kind of intervened with this connection. Okay. But either way, someone is feeling very blocked without you. I feel like they're forced to kind of see, like just watch you. So some of you could have an online business. Sometimes this represents like an online business or online account of some kind. Okay, like a platform. Because she's on a platform there. Okay. So I'm hearing someone made the wrong choice. Not gonna lie, I stalk you on social media just after I said that. So someone is stalking you. And I can't stand this distance. Being away from you hurts like hell. Too many cards. Oh, I forgot the other day. I keep forgetting things, you know. Yeah, wait for me when it to come out. And then we have karmic ties at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you cut cords with this person. Okay, but I feel like they can't cut the cord with you. It's almost like there's like this invisible thread that bounds the two of you together. And they can't, um, they can't release themselves from you. But I feel like it's the divine that, that, that did this. Now, you may um, have a conversation if you want to. Because I'm seeing different stories here. But I'm getting someone's trying to contact you and they can't. So they just stalk you on social media. But this person may reach out to you on social media because that's the only way that they can um, connect with you. Yeah, you're the best I ever had. And I love you. Duh. So this person is in love. Like I said, Venus trap without the fly. <laughs> okay. It's almost like now this person is a fly on the wall just watching you. And oh so magical. And then we have oh so enchanting. Exactly. So I feel like you're very enchanted. Enchanting, Scorpios. And again, someone is... It's almost like you're under someone's spell. Or maybe you feel like someone's put a spell on you. But it's just their energy. Okay? 
but someone is magical they're enchanting they're alluring yes goes back to the supernatural beauty literally super natural beauty but that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed the reading please don't hesitate to like share comment and subscribe bye